Hey buddies, my name is Andre and I'm here to prove to you that Brazil is more than samba and today soccer and carnival. And I know, I know, Brazil is really famous about soccer, but today I would like to talk about football in Brazil. So, let's go. Domingo não, né? Não falou mais. Agora tá certo. Saída do famoso shotgun, aí o Fatini pro Maranhão, cortando a marcação pela esquerda. O espetáculo do Maranhão! Touchdown! The first contact that we Brazilians had with football started in 1969 in the next channel called TV to P. And they used to receive the broadcast from CBS in the US. It was NFL games, but they weren't live. And we Brazilians didn't know the rules, even the narrator. So it was really fun in the beginning. Only in 1992, uh, the sport will gain again uh, a relevant here in Brazil because of ESPN Brazil. In 1986, we could see some players on the beaches of Rio de Janeiro. And due to the lack of materials and equipments, we, uh, it was necessary to adapt the sport, so the beach football was born. In 2000, we could see the first Brazilian championship called Carioca Bowl and the first confederation called CBFA, or in English, Brazilian Confederation of American Football. Because of internet and ESPN, we could see um, friends and fans start to found teams, so the beach football was um, evolving into the flag football and later finally the full pad on 25 of october in 2008 in curitiba took place the first full pad game in brazil between curitiba brown spiders and barigui crocodiles with the spiders winning um, 33 to 10. on the next year happened the first national tournament in Brazil with eight teams from six different states. We have 27 and it was called Torneio Touchdown. In 2016, we already had 30 teams competing in the national tournament. And in 2018, we already had 75 teams. Going back to 2007, due to an opportunity to um, have a game abroad, the Brazilian national team was born we call Brasil Onças, or Jaguars in English. On November 17th, we had the first match against Uruguay. Um, we lost, but definitely became something really important and historical for all Brazilians when we talk about football, right? Our first participation in the World Cup of American football happened in 2015, proving that Brazil is not just the land of the round ball. You probably don't know, but we have Brazilian players on NFL and half Brazilians as well. So we have four half Brazilians, um, two kickers, which is um, Tim Mazzari, Rodrigo Blankenship, um, an offensive tackle called Breno Giacomini, and a tight end called um, Damian Vaughn. The first Brazilian player um, born in Brazil who played on NFL was Michael Bonani, another kicker. I don't know why. <laughs> and, and currently we have two other players. We have Cairo Santos, kicker, um, from Chicago Bears, and an offensive guard called uh, Durval Neto, or Duzão. And why I'm wearing this? Because I already played football here in Brazil. I was a cornerback. I played just one season. And... Um, yeah, check it out one of my videos. Do Santos do UD Diadema, Wagner Wilson também com a gente. Sua esposa? Sua esposa? Ela se envolveu. Lançamento do Kaique! After one season, um, I have a hand broke and a finger as well. As you can see, it's not so beautiful, but it was fun and I retired and I discovered that produce videos from YouTube is less painful. So here I am. And of course, we cannot um, compare to US or other countries when we talk about football is um, in the beginning, it's like a baby here in Brazil. Um, I could say, 90% of the players here don't have a sponsorship or 
on a salary. We just play for fun and because we love that sport. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I could talk about all the the informations about the beginning of football here in Brazil. Um, my name is Andri. Thank you so much. Subscribe, um, comment below if you have any question. Um, and yeah, thumbs up. And that's it. Thank you so much, buddy. And I see you on the next video. Ciao.